Like you couldn't tell that this thing was shit. Dan was going to kill me. He was pissed, bro. I think I was right. I'll be real. I think I was right in that one, Dan. This is a like an entry level vape. Got Boston Anna. Can you tell us about the most mad Dan has ever been at you? The most mad Dan has ever been at me was back when he first started. When uh, we built the the iconic massive 100 battery vape. And he kept trying to get me to go do a fitting because they were building like a a vest. Hey, Alfredo. And I was like, well, why do I need to go do a fitting? Like, I've just got a normal body. Why don't you fit it to yourself? And so he says, okay, whatever. But he kept asking me. I was like, dude, I don't want to go down there. And so when it comes time to record the video, we're out on Hollywood Boulevard. And I've got the giant vape on. And by the way, nobody told me that this thing weighed like 75 pounds. It was... Unruly. It was unmanageable, dude. It was so freaking heavy. Here, let me show you guys the picture I'm talking about. Just to set the mood a little bit here. World's largest vape. Uh, yeah. Did it get removed or something? That's so weird. Hold on, hold on. Let me... Here's the channel. Well, I haven't looked at this in a minute, eh? This is the old channel, eh, boys and girls? This is it. Gee golly. Oh, fuck. Check this one out, huh? Nine million with Justin. I just read this article about him in The Hollywood Reporter. Dude, y'all, I used to get a lot of views. Holy shit. You guys see these views? Damn. Holy shit, dude. The thumbnails are kind of fire, too. Eli used to make all the thumbnails. This fateful video, Instagram reality... That began a crash course in my life that nobody anticipated. Come on, Shreddy. You got it. Hey, Shredder. You want to come up? Come on. Come on. Everybody wants to say hi to you, too. Whoa, Shredder. Yeah, sweet boy. Um, did it get erased? Fuck. I kind of miss, in a way I miss, in a way I don't, you know? It's interesting. I haven't looked at this shit in so long. It's crazy the amount of views that used to go on these videos, man. Here it is, my new vape. Oh, that one got 8 million. That's dope. What up, Camp Nation? It's your boy. Yeah, e so this is this is the situation I'm talking about. It was me, Ela, and Dan. Dan had just started work for us, and he was helping us with this video. EK from H3, and it's been three years since my last hit. But guess what? I'm still slamming. In fact, some would say I'm doing very well. Listen, I got a new toy I think you're all going to enjoy. Walk with me, babe nation. So stupid. What if there was one vape? Yo, Two this, by the way, I got to tip the beanie to Dan because we were all working on this. I had a, an, a detached garage at our old house where we watched this. And we had like three smoke machines, fog machines set up. And these shots came out spectacular. Cool them all. Spectacular. And in the fat cloud bind them. Is man worthy of the gods? Vape? So stupid. I don't know. I must 
Try it. If I can. 148 batteries. And 64 pounds. Yes. I'm ready. Let the vape take you. Become your destiny. The process of using e-cigarettes, or what is commonly called vaping, is recognized by some as a nearly harmless alternative to smoke. I also do miss having the creative outlet, because I edited this all. I used to edit all these. And it was really, like, challenging and fun in a rewarding way. And I was, like, just obsessed over every bar and, like, find like having this vision of, like, finding these sound bites of the moral panic over me vaping. I don't know. It's super fun. It felt like a, an artistic expression. Right now, there is no regulatory framework for vaping. Vaping is not tobacco. It's not lighting a cigarette or a, a cigar on, on fire and then inhaling that smoke. This shot came out so good, dude. Look at this shit. That's all real. That's real smoke, bro. <coughs> Sponsored by Jigsaw. Oh, yeah, dude. Ryan Kavanaugh fucking produced this movie. And they paid me so much fucking... I think that's the most we ever got paid for a sponsor. They paid us like $75,000 for this shit. Can you believe that? So Ryan Kavanaugh paid me $75,000 fucking dollars for this. And now he owes me another $60,000 <coughs> for uh, his failed lawsuit. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I'll get to the Dan Angry part. I'm quiet compared to the video. Let me see if I can fix that. Ba -da -da -da. I maybe I'll just go come closer. Done. Yeah, I, they're not paying us for the lawsuit money. They owe us, man. They're they're in debt. It was actually nice though, because I sw I wasted all so much money on that dumb Gucci suit, and the the vape was super expensive to build too. I think the vape was like five thousand dollars. That Gucci tracksuit was like ten thousand fucking dollars. Crazy, right? Yes, yeah, seventy five thousand. Dude, YouTubers get paid a lot of fucking money for ads like this. But think about it: this video has eight million, eight million views for seventy five thousand bucks. That's like insane value compared to what they would spend on traditional marketing. Here, let me turn down the video since y'all are saying it's allowed. I do have the Gucci tracksuit. It doesn't really fit me. It kind of fits me. It, it's just, yeah, the Gucci was real, bro. It's just, it's just not really wearable. It's so fucking crazy. And you cannot really wear it anywhere without looking like a giant douche. Uh, yeah, these days, people, uh, influencers make a lot more money. This was back in, this was five years ago. And so there wasn't really an established kind of rate for these kinds of things. So I, I actually do think that if I were to do that now with this many views, I probably would have made a lot more than that. Oh, Dan sent me the receipt for the giant vape. It was 3000 bucks. Wow, that's actually a good deal. Anyway, Jigsaw, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Is that awesome? In theater. How's the balance? October Is this better? 27th. First, I hit up Hollywood Boulevard. To sh yeah, so this is the scene where, where Dan got super pissed at me. Or I got super pissed at him, too. We kind of had a... This was like our big... Our one big, like, conflict, I would say, in our five-plus years of working together. Share my love. Was the vape a tax write-off? Of course. Everything was in this video. The vaping with the locals. Let them know it's good and healthy to go green.
My grandma, she suffers from arthritis. I had her hit this vape. She fucking died on the spot, man. But it was cool, man. She went out in glory. God bless you, Nana. Stupid. Love you. So Dave stupid. Nation. God bless you, Nana. And editing this video was like a nightmare because we went out there with zero preparation. Other, We just had the giant vape and a dream, which is how I shot the first video. And so I... It, it was... Dude, we had to edit our fucking hearts out to make this video work. At first, I was like, this is all, like, unpostable. Yeah, tax... Some people don't know what tax write-off means. It's not free money. It just means I get to deduct it as a business expense. Love you. Big me. This shit was like, I was so, trying so hard to make something out of this footage. You can tell it actually turned out okay. It's kind of surprised us all. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> this gif saved the video, by the way. This gif. Dude, I love that one. After freaking- yeah, so they're on Hollywood Boulevard. I put on this giant vape for the first time and the fucking vest that they attached onto it was not strong enough to hold this massive 70 pound vape. And it immediately broke. The strap broke the second I put on. And I was like, dude, like, did y'all not? And I was like, well, okay, this video's fucked. Like how are we, we're not even able to shoot this video now which would be horrible because I just spent like ten to fifteen thousand dollars on all this shit. And if I don't actually get to make this video and post it when it's due, I'm just going to have spent fifteen thousand dollars on this dog shit. <clears throat> so I was like, bro, did you not like test this? Like this thing, it was super flimsy. And I was like, this is obviously wasn't going to work. Like, what were you guys doing? <clears throat> And then Dan got super pissed at me. He's like, dude, that's why I kept I kept telling you to come and try it on. <clears throat> and then I said to him, well, what what do you what do you don't you can't you didn't realize like you're supposed to go there and f- see if it, you know, like you couldn't tell that this thing was shit. Dan was going to kill me. He was pissed, bro. You know, I think I was right. I'll be real. I think I was right in that one, Dan. I don't know if you have if your opinion on that changed over the years. Dan, do you have any thoughts about uh, who was right in that situation? But we were all we were all really inexperienced. So obviously, our communication and our understanding is much better now. Me and Dan work very well together. How was I wrong? Dan was supposed to go there. And try it on. Like, like if I, what would be the difference if I went in there and tried it on? I'd be like, yeah, this, this vest sucks. It's not, it's not good enough. If Dan, what, Dan can't do that? You know what I mean? Well, I know you guys are going to vote for Dan. I'm not doing a poll. Screw you guys. No poll. Bad poll. I'm wondering if Dan's watching Dan, Dan, I need your opinion on this. Yeah, but we got really mad at each other, and then, but we we actually worked. It was fine, actually. So Dan did save the day though, because the strap broke right here, and he ran down to like a CVS or something and came back with a bag of zip ties. And we put in like 10 zip ties where it broke and that actually held it for the whole day. And that, that was on, that was a Dan fix. So he saved the day. Dan says he went and tried it on twice and it was fine. Well, so, so there you go. How could, how could I have saved it? Me going there and trying out wouldn't have made a difference. He said, 
Also, if you had tested it, it would have broke then, and we would have fixed it at that point instead of breaking it while out there. Why would it have broken? I was like the same size as you. I wasn't like this massive cow. So if you went there and tried it on, why would it have broken when I was there? I don't understand the logic. He was. He says it wasn't fitted properly to you? Oh, come on. It was like a tent. We we're, were like the same size. What does fitting have to do with the strength of the... It, it wasn't rated for that much weight. I love that we're hashing this out now. Yeah, but Dan, Dan saved the day, and then we kind of... We, uh, you know, worked it out. And that was kind of the only time we've ever actually been pissed at each other. I think Dan gets mad at me sometimes, but he, he gets over it. Not that serious. Dan would be the one to ask that question. He gets mad sometimes when I push it. Push things too far. Dan gets ex get <laughs> Dan gets afraid the show's going to get banned and they're all going to lose a job. I would never do that, though. Dan, you should know that if the show ever really did get banned... I would give you all a very generous severance. And also, that's not happening. Zero strikes. And also, zero strikes. And I'm pretty sure if we got banned on YouTube, we probably moved to, like, I don't know, our own platform. Dan says, I only get mad because I love, like, a protective parent. Here, let's watch this video. It's kind of fun to look at this. My grandma, she suffers from arthritis. I had her hit this vape. She fucking died on the spot, man. But it was cool, man. She went out in glory. God bless you, Nana. Love you. Babe Nish. God bless you, Nana. Love you. Babe Nish. After freaking out the Lokes down on Hollywood, I casually oh, one of my favorite my things favorite was dime. I would spend hours, bro, in the first and this one here in the YouTube free music library, finding the perfect song, you know, the perfect background music. I would spend hours and hours and hours and hours where I like to put my feet up and blow a couple clouds. But first... I like to stop and say what up to my peeps. Hey guys. You good? Amazing. How you doing, bud? I never thought I'd meet you in real life. Hey man, you wanna hit this? Yeah, can I take a hit? By the way, this is all unscripted. I just walked by these people and this is what happened. Uh, there's no plan, zero planning. I have to emphasize that. Hard as you can. Hard as you can, dude. Hard as you can, dude. <gasps> Babe Nish. Oh, man. All right, see you later. I have herpes, by the way. Check to your doctor. Going green means telling your partner when you have an STD. <laughs> what the oh. fuck? I don't even know why I put that in there. How many are you? Just one, please. No, you don't. Okay. What about a vaping section? Can I vape in here? No. Oh, okay. So stupid. Okay. It's 2017. I mean, vapors are limited too, so... Civil rights was a thing. God, I have a so stupid, you guys. After fueling up at my favorite diner, I like to head down to my local vape store and peep the competition. Okay, so this part was hard because we had to call a shitload of vape stores and find one that was okay with us filming. Because in L L.A., people are weird. Like, the vape store we went to in the first one, that was the first store we went to. And the guys there were so cool and so chill. And uh, here, though, I was like, we went. So we went to the first place. And they're like, no, 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 no. You can't do that in here. You can't film. You can't do that in here. We're like, damn, what the fuck? Didn't expect that. So we started calling all the vape shops in the area. And luckily, we found these guys that said, yeah, it's fine. So... God bless to uh, Studio City Vapor, who saved the day. Petition. <laughs> I'm 
looking for for an upgrade. You guys have anything that has like 150 batteries plus? Nothing of that sort. How many batteries does that have? This is just one. It's a little embarrassing. This is the biggest you've ever seen. Alright. That boy can vape. Vape God. Yeah, the reason why I was like, I don't know what to do, because we we filmed in there a long time. And I was like, I don't know how much of that is use usable. But we ended up cutting it down and then we headed out to the Griff Griffith Observatory, an LA landmark. Oh, Vic Berger really inspired my editing. That guy's awesome. He is a big influence on my editing. And Tim and Eric, you know what I mean? Kind of take from them. With my vape tank on full. I like and then we, we eventually got kicked out of here too. But uh, we were able to get a lot of footage. So that was, that turned out good. To end my day with a beautiful sunset. <laughs> it did. I tried to get um, Dan to stand a little bit back. I don't remember if it was Dan or Hila filming this. Were you with us at this time, Dan? Or was it just me and Hila? Well, whoever was filming, I had him stand far back because I wanted people. I didn't want people to see the camera. You know what I mean? I wanted them to think that I was like for real, just out there doing this. Seeing the sunset while vaping is like seeing color <laughs> for the first time. God. Oh my god! Are you guys seeing this? Oh my god! Of course, I'm goofing on Logan Paul. Me goofing on Logan Paul goes way back, my friends. Oh, my God. Oh, you guys ever seen a sunset on vape before? Unbelievable. You want to watch? It's Kelsey Grammer falling off stage. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny, dude. That was that was actually one of my favorite parts. We we loaded up the tablet on the screen, which is like the most random dumb shit, dude. Oh, Kelsey Grammer falling off stage. That is funny. That is funny. It's really funny here. You want to hit this? No. Watch it again. It's on. It's on repeat. <laughs> <laughs> this was just my favorite video at the time. It's just, I still love it, but oh my God, it's so fucking funny. <laughs> hey guys, what up? Oh, this was Bob Dylan singing, We Are the World on Acid. <laughs> this is a, like an entry level vape. It's like a starter kit, like like if you wanted to get into vaping, you I would recommend to start with this. This is crack. Oh, then the fucking Pee Wee Herman, this is crack, PSA. Rock cocaine. It isn't glamorous or cool. This is a Pee Wee Herman PSA about crack. Would you like to watch it? Pee Wee Herman has a PSA about crack cocaine. So this is vaping, it's organic. Oh, these guys didn't speak English. I just I picked them out and started they didn't understand a word I was saying. Unlike crack cocaine. That, you know, so nobody knows how much, it, so every time you use it, you risk dying. You risk dying. <laughs> it isn't worth it. Isn't worth it. Look. Look. Everybody wants, everybody to, be wants cool. to be cool. But doing it with, <laughs> crack, doing it with crack just wrong. isn't wrong. Could wrong. You, it could be dead wrong. It could be dead wrong. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> yeah. This is crack. 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 That's one life saved today, and sometimes it really feels good knowing you've made a difference. That's why I... By the way, that's how long... Dude, this was such a long day. We started at like 10, and we closed that bitch out. I was carrying around that 60-pound shit all goddamn day. It really feels good <clears throat> knowing you've made a difference. That's why... Oh, I Funeral Queen says, you know Kelsey Grammer was married to a housewife? You think I was born yesterday? Kelsey Grammer and his housewife had the craziest 
relationship. His wife, they had like three kids and they had three nannies for each fucking kid. Like neither of them spent any time with their kids. That was, that was pretty wild. Yeah. Sure. You guys want, I can watch the iDubs one next. I'm a proud member of the Vape Nation. Brack. Gotta thank my boy Jigsaw. Jigsaw apparently loves H3H3. And I've got to... I had a hard time making this relate to the video. They were like... I think they wanted me to make some specific type of video that was related to the movie. And I was like, nah, I'm going to do this. So I'm try I try to relate it in some way. I don't remember how to. I don't to. know how I feel about that because I know what happens when Jigsaw loves people. Hello, Ethan and Ela. Do you want to play a game? Oh, that was awesome. I forgot they did that. But I'm already vapor die. So if this ends up killing me, that's fine. Jigsaw is in a little hood. So about this weekend, just in time for Halloween. It's going to be so spooky, bro. Bring a diaper. Jigsaw, let's give it away. A thousand free tickets for H3 fans in the United States. Click the link in the description. Use the code H3 sleep for a free spook. Thank you so much to Jigsaw for sponsoring us, guys. Please, if you want to support the spooks and the goofs and the laughs and the gaffs, go to the theaters this weekend and enjoy Jigsaw. In fact, I got just got a letter that says that if I don't smoke this every 10 seconds of the whole day, my mom dies. But frankly, I was going to do that anyway, so I don't really get this whole Jigsaw challenge. Anyway, Vape Nation, y'all. What? I didn't get that Stay joke. Green. Yeah, you know what's funny? Watching this back, it's a great, it's a great video. I'm I'm actually really proud of how this video came out. And at the time, everyone was being, or there was a lot of people being like, "Oh, H three H three was better. H 3s changed." And I was super insecure about like putting out. It's just kind of funny how you how things are when you're when you're in it, you know pretty ridiculous you guys want I'll, I'll watch the uh colorblind one that was definitely a banger yeah it's giving me nostalgia too those were really hard to make but they were they were really rewarding on like a creative level oh what was in the vape i mean it was just um it was just vape juice. It was, you know what I mean, v, VG or something. I forget what they called it. It didn't have nicotine or anything in it. I would have died if I was smoking that much nicotine. The practice of using e-cigarettes or what is commonly called vaping is recognized by some. 